Hey guys, it's me, Thriftastic Mom, and today I want to share a recipe with you guys. I'm actually cooking this for dinner, and I thought I would share it with you. Some of you asked me to, because I had mentioned this in my last grocery haul that I had picked up a few of these items to make a noodle lasagna. I actually got this recipe online, so this is not my original recipe, but I love it, and it's good, and it's made with a lot of cheese instead of noodles, so that's a win-win. And it's really good. The first one I made turned out great. Tastes just like lasagna. You can't even tell that the cheese noodles in it are not pasta noodles. I mean, it was so good. Me and my husband both loved it. I wanted to show you everything I got to put in. I got to put in Parmesan cheese in the like, finely shredded uh, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, onion powder there's one small onion then I got this big bag of mozzarella cheese back here um, here is a ricotta cheese and I'm putting in minced garlic you could do jar garlic like I'm doing or you could do fresh garlic whichever you prefer I got this mild ground Italian sausage I got four eggs laying here to put in it. It calls for cream cheese. And it calls for 30 ounces of crushed tomatoes. I got two big cans because that's what I had. So I'm going to have to open both of these up to get the amount of tomatoes I need. And hamburger meat. I already got it laying here in my pan. This is one pound of ground beef. And I think it's like 80 yeah, 80 20. Um, so, first thing I got to do is fry up my meats, which is my Italian sausage and my ground beef here in my pan. So, we're going to get started with that. And I'm going to show you how to put this wonderful noodleless lasagna together. So, I have my oven preheating to 375, so that's getting nice and warm. So, let's get started. Okay, guys, I have added my ground beef and my Italian sausage together. This is one pound of Italian sausage, one pound of ground beef, 80-20. I'm just going to chop this up and let this cook and brown up. And we'll have to drain it, of course. It's just getting started, so i got to get that all cooked up. got my meat about done here, and i got it all chopped up nice and fine. Now I got to add in my tomatoes, my garlic, and onion. Okay, I just added in my small onion. I'm just going to kind of let that cook a minute. It smells so good. I know it's going to smell good when I add that garlic. Alright, it calls for three to four cloves minced. If you use fresh garlic, that's fine. I am using my jarred minced garlic. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. You could use a little or more garlic, you know, whatever you like. Just kind of let your onion cook a little bit in that. Your onion's going to cook anyway when you get everything incorporated in it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and drop in some garlic. that into my mixture. Now it says to add 30 ounces of my crushed tomatoes and a little water if needed. I'm going to go ahead and put in, this is a 
28 ounce can of tomatoes. Okay. And add another two ounces to make 30 ounces. I'm going to save the rest of those crushed tomatoes and use them in another recipe. Alright, now I'm just going to mix all this up. Meat, onions, crushed tomatoes, and my garlic. This is pretty much the meat sauce. Then you have to let this saute for about an hour and a half, it says. It don't look like I need any water. It's got some water, some mixed moisture in it. My mean is boiling good, so I'm going to turn it down and let that simmer for, it says one to two hours. I usually do about an hour and a half. And then I will go ahead and lay out my cream cheese, which I kind of just laid out back here. Let it start, you know, getting the room temperature. I got my ricotta cheese sitting out over here, letting that kind of get in the room temperature. That way it'll spread easy. It's been about 45 minutes. Still got my meat cooking over here on low. Um, it's time to make up the noodles, which is a cheesy noodle and not pasta noodles. So we got to combine some ingredients in the bowl here. We got to put in some eggs, cream cheese, Italian seasoning, garlic, and onion. And then we got to fold in our mozzarella and our parmesan after we beat our eggs and stuff. So here we go. I'm actually reading this off a recipe because I've only made it one time. So I want to make sure I get it absolutely right. Okay, it says in a large bowl combine eggs, cream cheese, Italian seasoning, garlic, and onion. Okay, it calls for four eggs. Block of cream cheese, one teaspoon of Italian Okay, this one ain't gonna work, so I gotta pour it up. One teaspoon of onion and one teaspoon of garlic powder. And trust me, all the garlic I've put in it, it's not too garlicky because I have made this before. Okay, now we got to mix this together for one to two minutes and then we'll fold in our cheeses. It calls for a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, two and a half cups of mozzarella. So I got a cup here. Putting in a half a cup of Parmesan. And two and a half of the mozzarella. It says just fold all this together. Fold just means kind of work it in. Don't really stir it heavy. Just get it all combined good where all the cheese is holding that mixture. 
then it'll be ready to spread it out. It's good to use a cookie sheet like this and it is wonderful if you have a mat to use because it will not stick to the mat. The noodles will cut and come up perfectly with no sticking. So I am grateful that I have this mat. Now all we do is spread this. Let me make sure I got everything. Okay, I got my oven set for 375. It's been preheated up for a while now. It says to cook this for 25 to 30 minutes until golden brown, but make sure that it cooks at least 20 minutes. Now, if you just pour it all out on our mat, which is great to use a spatula like this. This is, I think, one of those, yeah, tasty spatulas I got from Walmart. Pour all your cheese mixture out. This is actually your noodles. Just spread it out to a nice even coat. I like to try to make sure it's all about even. That way it cooks even. So now I'm going to place it in the oven, bake it, and I'll check it at about 20 minutes and see if it's brown enough. If it's not, I'll cook it a little longer. It can go from 25 to 30 minutes. I'll bring it out and let's see what it looks like. And then we'll have to let it cool for about 20 minutes after we bring it out of the oven before we can cut it. Okay, guys, my cheesy noodles here are cool to the touch. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these up and then we'll get started putting the lasagna together. I'm going to cut it in strips for the lasagna now. Let's just show you. I always just use my pizza cutter here. And then I'll just, just make sure I'm in the frame. I'll just cut like little, maybe, probably not even a one inch strip all the way down. Okay. They ain't got to be perfect. I mean, they're just going in a lasagna, so. Okay. Come over. Just cut them in strips. Got a little bit wide on that one. Oops, move on me. But it pretty much cuts like a pizza crust. Except it's not bread, it's all cheese. <laughs> Okay, so I got each piece cut in strips like that, and then I'll go in and cut about probably three strips this way. That way they won't, hopefully won't be too long for my, let's just do two. And then I probably won't even use all of this, I don't know. We'll see. But see, they just cut, pull apart, and it's like it's like a piece of bread. It looks like a piece of bread. It'll break loose. It, I mean, see that? It looks like a piece of bread. It's good. But it's all cheese. I'm eating this piece. <laughs> just break your pieces apart like this. And that's your noodles. Yeah, perfect. Got my casserole dish ready. I got my noodles here ready. My sauce over here. My ricotta. And this has been setting out so it should spread a lot better. Um, mozzarella cheese and my Parmesan cheese sitting here so I can assemble this lasagna. First thing it says do when building your lasagna is to pour about one fourth of the meat sauce into the bottom of your casserole dish, which here is my casserole dish. It calls for about an eight by 10 casserole dish. So I'm gonna spread in some meat. Oops, 
I made a mess. Then it calls for a layer of noodles. So then I'm just going to take my noodles. And if they're too long, you can just break them and add a little piece. Just lay them in how they'll fit. Cheesy side up. Let's see, can I find a skinnier one? This kind of works out good when you cut them a little bit different sizes because they will fit in there better for you. This bow ain't big enough. Okay. Calls for a one fourth cup ricotta cheese on top of the noodles here. So we're just gonna spread some out. And you can kind of eyeball this part. And see it's it's smoothing out a lot better because it's at room temp. All right. All right. Meat noodles, ricotta cheese, and then it calls for a layer of mozzarella. Sprinkle on some mozzarella. Ain't gotta be too heavy. Make sure. Okay, then we repeat this process again. We'll put another layer of meat. Then some more noodles. Oh, I got two of them. Hold on. Another line of t your cheesy noodles. And it don't matter if you have to break them apart. It all comes out good. You won't tell the difference when you cut into it. It's just like lasagna noodles and you won't know the difference. Okay, so now I got that, my meat. Now, meat, noodles, and another layer of ricotta. This gets easier as you go. The ricotta spreads easier every time because it's warming up. How many of you like ricotta? I like just about any kind of cheese, to be honest with you. Let me turn it around here a little bit and get... I like all mine to be pretty much covered. Okay, that should be plenty. Okay, so that's our second layer. Now, sprinkle more mozzarella. You'll end up with the mozzarella cheese on top. Then you're just gonna take some more sauce. And layer that right on top.
just like so. That way, you know, try not to overdo it on your meat sauce because you want to make sure you got enough sauce to top it off. Okay, so next you'll just add on some more of your. I like those little crusts, but I'm cutting them off just to shorten it up a little. You'll just add in the rest of your noodles. Okay. And then you top it off with your remaining meat sauce. Or a layer of meat sauce. You may have a little extra meat. And then you're going to put this in the oven and cook it for about 35 to 45 minutes. And then when it gets nice and bubbly, you're going to pull it out, put you a layer of mozzarella cheese on top of this, and then stick it back in the oven for about 20 minutes and let that cheese cook on top. So I'm going to put it in the oven now, and I'll show you that step when I bring it out. Okay, guys, I just pulled this out of the stove a little bit here and added some mozzarella and parmesan on top. Now all I have to do is let this cook for about 20 minutes just so that cheese gets nice and melted and it'll be ready to take out of the oven. I have let this set here for about 20-25 minutes. It's nice and cooled down. It's still warm but it's cool to the touch here. It takes a little while to put this thing together and get everything done once you have all your meat, sauce, and all that cooked. You know that needs about two hours or so. So I would start this anywhere from three and a half to four hours early than the time you're planning on eating because it takes a while to get all the steps done, get everything cooked. That's, you know, including like the cooling time, the cooking times for everything. Um, if you want to get it done at a certain time, I would start about four hours early. Just gonna cut out a little. Probably would do better with a knife. Cause I don't want to tear up my cheese. Probably a knife like this with the perforated edge. Wait, there we go. It can cut into that lasagna. Okay, guys. That is it. Noodleless lasagna made with cheese noodles instead of pasta noodles. It's really good. Tastes like lasagna. If you was to cook this and feed it to people, I don't think they would even know, notice the difference. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video, seeing me cook this. If you did, y'all give me a big thumbs up. Y'all leave me some comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos. And I will see you in my next one. God bless. Bye.